Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We were in Lethbridge this summer and we decided to go to the Nika Yoko Japanese Garden. This uh, was uh, a garden that was built in 1967 and it was mainly designed in a way to reflect the ecology of the mountains and the prairie area where Lethbridge is. The uh, design actually came from an Osaka University architect as well as the uh, bronze friendship bell was also cast in Kyoto so it was it's pretty cool it's uh, situated along Henderson Lake and Park and it's about a four acre or 1.6 hectare space I was trying to decide how it compared to the one in Edmonton, the Devonian Gardens, the uh, Japanese garden there, which I'll link at the end of this video so you can see it too. And while I'm very fond of the one in my hometown here, I find that there is aspects of this Japanese garden that I like better, as we will see as we move through it. It, uh, I'd have to say that neither one has any aspects that make it more Japanese than the other. They both have a very Japanese feel to them. They're very authentic. I've been to Japan a few times, so there's nothing going on there. But the, um, the layout of this place feels uh, a little better. I'm a little more... Um, uh, I like the layout. I like the way they designed this one better, I think. It uh, has running rivers. Uh, it even has a waterfall, too, which is interesting. Uh, lakes here. It's got the bell tower. Here's the Friendship Bell. Which was created in Kyoto, as mentioned before. bronze bell I believe it is another view there's a tea house I'm not sure they call the tea house but it's what they use for gatherings that's the Henderson Lake part of the area there view of the tea house. Yeah, this place had tons of ducks. That was the one cool place, the thing about it. It had lots of ducks. Incidentally, all these stone lanterns were also carved in Kyoto. But yeah, this is one thing that uh, I liked was the waterfall. Pretty authentic well here with buckets and a pulley. I like the wood. Very cool. But I'd have to say that one of the things that is kind of a a down downer, I guess you could say, for the one at uh, Devonian Gardens, is that uh, like this place has a veranda, and you can also go inside the tea house. Things you couldn't do with the other, which is unfortunate. It also has a, a sand garden, and here for tea ceremonies, here's the preparation room, and then off to the side here is the actual room where they hold the tea ceremony including the tatami mat flooring arrangement. But yeah, here's the sand garden, which also they don't have here in Edmonton. So there's a few things that I thought made this place stand out. Very beautiful. I sat here and relaxed for a few minutes. You couldn't help but do that. 
But yeah, once again, you know, neither Japanese garden is better than the other. It's just based on your own preferences. But both are very relaxing, and I like this one quite a bit. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for coming over to the channel, guys. See you soon.